Hi guys, welcome to another video on this video tutorial series of mining data from social media with Python. And this section is about social media, social data and Python. And like I mentioned in the intro video that, that these video tutorials are about applying data mining techniques to social media using Python. So the three keywords are data mining, social media, and Python. These keywords help us define the intended audience for, for this video, these video tutorials. Any developer, engineer, analyst, researcher, or student who is interested in exploring the area where the three, these three topics are met, data mining, social media, and Python. So in this section, we in, in this section of series of videos, we will try to cover the following topics, social media and social data, and the overall process of data mining from social media, and setting up the Python development environment, and also look into Python tools for data science and processing data in Python. <coughs> so let's uh, get started so in the second quarter of 2015 facebook reported nearly 1.5 billion monthly active users in 2013 twitter had reported a volume of 500 plus million tweets per day on a smaller scale but certainly of interest for the for the audience of this video tutorial in 2015 stack overflow announced that more than 10 million programming question questions had been asked on the platform since the website has opened so the numbers that i just uh, mentioned are just the tip of the iceberg when describing how the popularity of social media has grown exp exponentially with more users sharing more and more information through different platforms this wealth of data provides unique opportunities for data mining practitioners the purpose of these video tutorials uh, are, is to guide the the audience through the use of social media apis to collect data that can be analyzed with Python tools in order to produce interesting insights on how users interact on social media. So this video lays the ground for an initial discussion on challenges and opportunities in social media mining and introduces some Python tools that we will use in, in the following videos. So the first topic that we are going to cover in this uh, video is social media challenges and opportunities so in traditional media users are typically just consumers information flows in one direction from the publisher to the user social media breaks this model allowing every user to be a consumer and publisher at the same time Many academic publications have been written on this topic with the purpose of defining what the term social media really means. For example, I can mention some of the publications. The first is Users of the World Unite, The Challenges and Opportunities of Social Media by Andreas M. Kaplan and Michael Heinlein and that publication is from 2010 so the app aspects that are most commonly shared across different social media platforms are as follows as in the first section here it's internet-based applications user-generated content and networking Social media are internet-based application applications. It is clear that the advances in internet and mobile technologies have promoted the expansion of social media. 
Through your mobile, you can in fact immediately connect to a social media platform, publish your content or catch up with the latest news. Social media platforms are driven by user generated content as opposed to the traditional media model. Every user is a potential publisher. More importantly, any user can interact with every other user by sharing content, commenting or expressing positive appreciation via the like button, sometimes referred to as upvote or thumbs up on different social media platforms. Social media is about networking. As described, social media is about the users interacting with other users. Being connected is the central concept for most social media platform and the content you consume via your news feed or timeline is driven by your connections. And with these main features being central across several platforms, social media is used for a variety of purposes like uh, staying in touch with friends and family for example via Facebook, microblogging and catching up with the latest news, for example Twitter, staying in touch with your professional network, for example via LinkedIn, sharing multimedia content, for example via Instagram, YouTube, Vimeo and Flickr, or finding answers to your questions, for example Stack Overflow, Stack Exchange and Quora. Or the last, finding and organizing items of interest, for example, via Pinterest. So these video series aims to answer one central question, how to extract useful knowledge from the data coming from the social media. Taking one step back, we need to define what is knowledge and what is useful. Traditional definitions of knowledge come from information science. The concept of knowledge is usually pictured as part of a pyramid, sometimes referred to as knowledge hierarchy, which has data as its foundation, information as the middle layer, and knowledge at the top. So this knowledge hierarchy is represented with the image that you can see on the screen right now. So climbing the pyramid, excuse me, climbing the pyramid means refining knowledge from raw data. The journey from raw data to distilled knowledge goes through the integration of context and meaning. As we climb up the pyramid, the technology we built gains a deeper understanding of the original data and more importantly of the users who generated generated generate such data in other words it becomes more useful so in this context useful knowledge means actionable knowledge that is knowledge that can that enables a decision maker to implement a business strategy and as an audience of this video tutorial, you'll understand the key principles to extract value from social data. Understanding how users interact through social media platform is one of the key aspects in this in these video tutorials. And uh, in the next video, we are going to uh, talk about the challenges and opportunities of mining data from social media platforms. So I'll see you in the next video.